हेलो साइबर मॉन्स वेलकम बैक टू मेक जॉर्ज साइबर सिक्योरिटी मॉक टुडे वी डिंग इन टू द पावरफुल फंक्शनलिटीज ऑफ कोरिलियम द अल्टीमेट टूल फॉर मोबाइल वॉयस एमुलेशन एंड सिक्योरिटी रिसर्च वेदर यू आर ए साइबर सिक्योरिटी प्रोफेशनल ए डेवलपर और एंडोसियासिस्ट यू वॉन्ट वॉन्ट टू मिस दिस एक्सप्लोरेशन ऑफ कोरिलियम कैपेबिलिटीज and uh, today we will see about uh, scenarios of ios pen test okay first we will see about uh, installation part okay how we can uh, install log into the uh, corellium and how we will be able to create the devices okay so this is the official uh, link provided by the corellium so i will uh, explain you what you have to start first okay uh, if you see here uh, what corellium is doing it, it offers access to virtualized dev ios device models from iphone 6 up to the latest models and every ios version ever supported on each model like you know for a jailbroken as well as non jailbroken versions okay so they have provided the overview of uh, corellium and here we are going to utilize the corellium cafe mobile vulnerable app uh, to uh, like you not know, to test our knowledge right? so how this has been uh, you know divided into different sections that is it will be challenge to find local network local storage network misconfigurations and uh, runtime vulnerabilities and we are not looking into these vulnerabilities now but first we will focus on like what are the tools or required it's like a physical devices that are running on a mobile devices uh, this is objection the local tools which they have is objection apple xcode burp suit and then db browser for sqlite all these are local tools and the burp you know on this burp suit you can use the alternative which they have provided <coughs> corellium network monitor uh, i will tell you what is corellium network monitor if you, if you move down if you see here uh, network in network you will see the network monitor okay uh, let's go back and see okay here and it, it says corellium included features as well as tools that is network monitor frida file browser app installer serial console vpn and usb flux so creating your first virtual ios device okay so what they are saying here if you have existing account or a Oh uh, no! You can uh, have, you can uh, you can request for a new trial account. So after the trial you raised, you will receive multiple mails from the Corellium organization to access to to they would share all the you no know, uh, instructions uh, one by one how you have to access the platform. Uh, for a trial, you will have the limited number of devices. Uh, for you no know, and uh, for example, I would say. almost they would provide 12 cores and a limitation of 15 days or 30 days as per your requirement for if suppose if they have provided 12 cores um iphone 7 up from iphone 7 and above devices will consume 6 cores it it has up to iphone pro max so all this each device consumes 6 uh, cores and less than that from till apple uh, 7 i7 uh, apple uh, 7 that would consume only two cores per device so so you should calculate that which device you are using how many cores and how much time and they have another thing they say that if you power on or pass the device they the timer will run that won't stop they would consider that as a running time suppose if you want to no power off if you want to stop the timing you should power off the virtual iphone 
okay to to reduce or the, the reduce the consuming how much time you have consumed got it um yes and first we are going to see how we are going to create the devices first thing see in the in the, in the top page you have to log in okay uh, you have to provide your username and password you click login then it will take you up not this page you will see two pages that is home page and devices home page and devices the devices page you have to click devices then you will see this page okay uh, in this page what you have to do <coughs> you have to go here and click create devices create device okay then the next thing is you have to use create device here like choose which platform and uh, next step is what the corellium uh, device offers as like i mentioned uh, they have mentioned that the number of course as well as devices currently running suppose you will be able to create a certain number of like suppose you can take an example of 30 devices they have allowed in that case you can create uh, up to 30 dev different devices ios device android device a number of devices but at a time you will be able to run as per the availability of the course suppose if the availability is 12 course you will be able to run two devices two ios devices that is above the ios 7 if it is a less than uh, iphone 7 it would consume only two cores so that you can use three uh, you can use then you can consume up to six devices okay then we will see how this works see here uh, iphone 14 pro max iphone 14 pro 14 all the devices right uh, but as of now so i'm telling the current uh, latest devices iphone 15 pro max okay it is available but here they have quoted only for 14 pro max but now 15 pro max is available so you can choose either pro max or 15 pro or 15 pro max 15 version okay see here up you will be able to see the below I mean, they have mentioned clearly here how many cores it requires they need six cores six cores six cores see here it starts from apple 7 and 7 plus it, it this needs only two cpu cores okay so in that way you have to choose and also like to select a device you you would have an option android android frames and then ios uh, if you want to android device click on android if you want to create ios device click on ios and you will see android frames that is also present if you click all all the devices combined with android as well as ios will be listed below okay so the first step we have completed by clicking the create device and select what device we need then we will move for the next step that is configure okay here you will see different options first you will go with the first one select an example firmware what software what up what is a what version you require for your device whether it is a 15.7.16 or 7.4 or 7.3 you can choose <coughs> as per your requirement and then you will see the juicy part over here that is jailbroken and non-jailbroken what you want you can create a jailbroken device as well as non-jailbroken device you have to choose either one of these then you have to click select got it so first we uh, install uh, select the device now we have uh, updated the con uh, configurations what requirement configuration requirement what what is required then we move further okay now we confirm the devices and we have provide name for our device okay so confirm the details here i am providing uh, instead of mirror ryzen i will provide 
my name or you can provide whatever the name you like to have for your demo project or with the test case whatever okay then you have to click create a device that's it here you have to provide only one information then you have to move to the next part that is once you click on create device see this automatically takes some time that is they have mentioned around 10 to 15 minutes it might extend 20 minutes also to create a device so whatever the configuration you have selected that's a three step process device configure and then confirm then your device will start creating okay okay your which wants the virtualized device created how this looks this is how it looks okay if you, if you go to the home and device button if you click on devices all the devices will be listed in a row from there you have to click which one that is mirror rising iphone 7 15.7.6 then the random numbers it's a jailbroken if it's a non jailbroken this will be mentioned here non jailbroken okay and this is the gui you will be get uh, i will explain it so this part we have seen in our previous videos uh, i have i have mentioned i have explained everything in a different video and this is the console logs and here our GUI of our device okay uh, this will make our physical, uh, virtual device uh, like come out uh, like standalone and this will be uh, like we can change this position to horizontal or vertical and here it would be a pause option you can restart or you can delete the uh, entire device and you can create a new one and here is the switch off that is power of button okay here it is home button but now this has been come down the at the bottom uh, that is home button this is uh, volume increase or uh, decrease this is lock this is unlock Th this will make make it uh, come out come come out so next thing is yes you have successfully created your device and then what you need to do first this is an option but this will be benefit you see here the option a uh, snapshot see uh, this snapshot is very similar to the functionality of virtual device for instance if you say uh, i want to capture the current status of the application for in, in a vm how what you do once you create the virtual or virtual machine you will take the current state of the the current state of the uh, virtual machine like right? so that you can utilize later or if you want to install like freshly you can take or you can take some software install or whatever the uh, like at what point you want to store those snapshots that that status of the machine in similar way here also so first thing i want to take a fresh snapshot so that there is no other application installed it's like a fresh clone when this will be useful sometimes the device get lag or some some other issues are happening you can restore rather than creating a new device you can restore to the fresh one okay this will save your time okay and you can save as much snapshot you can you can see here you can take a new snap snapshot and then uh, you can utilize you can name it as what you can name it as whatever it is required snapshot one you can change it to fresh you know, or new one see freshly cloned or like new one or it's like you know uh, the test software test software one install test software two install and as per your convenience you can name that snapshot okay then we'll move for the next one okay now we have successfully taken our uh, snapshot we have stored in our device so so far we have seen to select the ios device and then install means like you create a virtual device then we have taken a snapshot we have seen this functionality in the next video i will let you know how to install the applications the corellium has provided a corellium cafe there is a vulnerable application intentionally vulnerable application corellium cafe we have to install it and find it out what are the vulnerabilities are there 
Okay. Uh, yes. So thank you, thank you all. Uh, so if you like my video, just like it. And if you have anything to say, just comment it and subscribe to my channel for more updates on security related stuffs. Thank you. Bye. We'll see you on next video.